Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much could depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Today is a chemical I bring in this update. Grant Namde Kanu, Sunday Boho, pardon to celebrate independence of Nigeria. Ohaneze Tas Tinibo. Now, the Ohaneze Tinibo has pleaded with Balame Tinibo to release Mazen Namde Kanu, Sunday Boho. In the spirit of their celebration of their independence, the lowering of Union Jack in 1960, yes, and the hoisting of their green, white, green, that have continued to, you know, put hunger, yes, diseases, to the people of the contraption. The hoisting of that green, white, green has not done anything good. Honestly, this organizer of uh, Isikuzoro just said that the independence of Nigeria wouldn't have come at the time, yes, when it came, if not for the struggle of the people, of persons like Dr. Namda Zekewa, of blessed memory, yes. They said Iboho and Mazi Namda Kano should be given pardon, presidential pardon, on this day of their celebration of their independence. All right, the statement, I mean, is it released in Abakaleke? Goes this way. Let me quote part of that statement of Isiguzoro. Quote The 63rd Independence Day anniversary of Nigeria on the 1st of October 2023 will be observed with mixed feelings. While the nation is celebrating its freedom from colonial rule, it also grapples with the ongoing tensions and political unrest with East Badas. Dr. Namda Zakewe, a Pan-Africanist and prominent Igbo leader, was one of the key figures who led the struggle for Nigeria's independence. His efforts, along with those of other nationalists, were instrumental in achieving sovereignty for Nigeria. The detention of Kano by the federal government under the Tinubu administration has been a source of tension and controversy. Many Nigerians are questioning the government's actions, particularly as they contrast with the lack of prosecution for Yoruba activists under Iboho. Both activists have been vocal about the need for improved security and economic conditions in southern Nigeria, a cause that gained traction under the previous administration of President Buhari. I've stopped quoting now. And so this is the statement of Fesu Gujo, the General Secretary of the Hanese, under his, you know, his, the faction of the Hanese. Okay, now what are, we, what are we not talking about? We are talking about the, the release of Mazen Amlakano. And uh, this Hanese is talking about Sunday Boho. These are two different issues here. Yeah. These are two different issues. There is no resemblance. We are talking about the federal government to do justice, you know, because a court of competent jurisdiction have declared Mazen Amdekano, you know, discharged and acquitted. Yes, but the issue of Tony Boho, you know, has not been, you know, treated by any court in Nigeria. And again, you don't talk of pardon when someone has not been convicted. We have told the people who have been hesitating or talking about Mazen Kano's release, you know, that they should, you know, be very careful with their choices of words. When you say pardon, of course, pardons are granted to people who have been convicted, particularly on a day they do their celebration like the independence. But Mazen Amdekano has not been convicted by any court, rather has been discharged and acquitted by a competent court. So what we are talking about is justice. Justice must be done. Mazen Amdekano must be freed unconditionally from detention facility because justice must be done. Not for pardon. Pardon is different from this issue we are talking about now. I would say pardon is for a convicted person. Simple. Oh, presidential pardon. If someone has been convicted for wrongdoing, 
not someone who has been discharged and acquitted by a competent court. You are talking about pardon. We have said it clear. All right. So you are going to, you know, urinate or defecate. And in that regard, you have actually attracted another physics to yourself. You rob yourself of another man's physics in the forest. Whereas you have gone there to remove. So we should be very careful when you say pardon. We are talking about release, freedom. Not just release, but unconditional. There shouldn't be any condition to it. Oh, after we might have allowed you to go, you shouldn't be seen in a place where you have two or three persons. You have to be alone every time. That's one of the conditions we'll give to you. Please do not go and meet anybody to grant any interview to any media. That's the condition we're going to give to you. These are the normal condition they used to give to people. And we said no to all this. It must be unconditional release. Yes, he's supposed to, he will have his full right intact. Nothing will be removed from it. His right will be intact, full, like every other citizen that are free. Yes. So this is the point. Iboho, his case is different. Federal government of Nigeria, they know how to, they are dealing with him. That is a business. That is a business. It's Tinibu's brother. So people should be careful. Don't use Iboho to lobby Tinibu. It's his own brother. That is their problem there. We are talking about the freedom fighter, Mazinam Lukaman. A world figure. He has known internationally as a freedom fighter. UN is aware. The international community is aware of the struggle of Mazinam Lukaman. And you are saying Iboho. Is it because Tinibu is rewarded to Iboho? That is their business. Okay? Don't use Iboho to lobby Tinibu to release Mazinam Lukaman. No, we are not talking about. We know, nobody's begging Tinibu for release. No pleading said, we we'll lose him, a, a competent court of judicial have said so. And that is what we are saying. So it's not an issue of pleading or question of asking him to grant pardon to anybody. It is justice. And that is what we we'll see in Nigeria, you know, to go down the drain. If justice is not served in this case, Nigeria will see it now. They will see the consequences of not doing justice, of abracadabra, of impunity. Yes? So when you throw something up, it must come down. That is the point. So those who are asking for Muslim Khanus release, please have a good choice of words.